Turn now to the latest on the fight against COVID. The U.S. setting a global record with over 1 million new COVID cases in 24 hours as millions of Americans go back to work and school after the holidays. Let's go to Trevor Alt outside a hospital here in New York. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, we were waiting on what we knew was going to be a big number as every state finally reported their infections after the holiday weekend. And we've seen a bump from a backlog before, but this was an avalanche. More than a million new cases in 24 hours and an increasing number of those infected are children, most of whom and many of whom are now likely going to be eligible to finally get a booster shot. This morning, a stunning new daily infection record. More than a million new cases reported Monday alone. Most states reporting a backlog from the weekend, but the total is nearly double the previous daily record. And now vaccine boosters are likely rolling out to even younger Americans. DA now authorizing Pfizer booster shots for 12 to 15 year olds and recommending everybody 12 and up originally vaccinated with Pfizer get their booster after five months instead of six. The CDC is expected to sign off midweek and shots could be available as early as Thursday. It's more important now than ever for all teens to go out there and get all three of their vaccinations. 325,000 children tested positive for the virus just last week, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. And more than 100,000 infected Americans are now hospitalized, more than double the total from early November. The sickest of the sick that we are seeing now are the patients that are not vaccinated. Some will even ask that they can be vaccinated tonight, but I'll have to let them know that it's too late. Some of the sharpest increases in hospital admissions are recorded in the southeast. With the number of newly admitted patients there jumping 64% between Christmas and the new year, the influx could get worse following the holiday. But in New York, hospitalizations are already back to levels not seen since last January. We're not in a good place. I'm going to be really honest with you. This is the winter surge we predicted, and we fully anticipate on top of the surge that's already been ongoing, that there's going to be a, another wave that's occurring as a result of these holidays. Starting today, the state will require hospitals report a breakdown of how many people are hospitalized because of COVID symptoms and how many are testing positive while there for other treatments. The sheer numbers of people infected are high, but I want to see whether or not the hospitalizations correlate with that. And scientists are now tracking a new variant out of southern France that appears to be highly mutated, but it's been around for about a month and there's yet to be a big impact and most variants do sputter out. Robin, got to keep that in mind, Trevor. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.